Hey, what's up guys? Gonna be uh, making a little video today. Basically comparing the um, stock wing on the Supra to an eBay wing. And this really applies to any car, um, like an STI or Evo or, you know, those are just cars that come to mind with uh, buying replica wings. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna do a comparison. I had this wing, as you guys know, on the Supra for a little while. Uh, it's just a regular old eBay wing. Paid like 150 bucks for it. Came with screws and the wing and little foam inserts, the yeah, protectors. Um, and then this is a JDM from Japan, authentic Toyota wing. Uh, as you can see, it's really scuffed up. You have to have it repainted, but um, yeah, we're gonna go through the differences. I'm gonna take this off and kind of show you guys why, uh, pretty much why you should go with the original wing, why I went with the original wing. Uh, eBay wing's fine. Um, it'll do fine, you know, it's a wing. But you really do get what you pay for uh, with anything, even something as simple as a as a wing, which you'd think would just be a solid piece of fiberglass, but it's really not. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the uh, differences. Go ahead and pop the trunk. One of the few things in the cars that uh on the car that still works is the trunk latch. So pop out the little Toyota interior clips that are everywhere in the car in every single pit. Hey guys, removed my uh little cover for the um trunk back here. And basically it exposes two screws. Just kinda pull them out, get one of these screwdrivers. I can zoom in on this. Focus on it. Um, these screwdrivers are a must. I can't focus on it, I guess. There we go. Screwdrivers are a must. Um, they have a little mechanism in the end here. Kind of grabs the screw. And uh, yeah, it'll save you a lot of frustration because once these screws fall down here, you'll never see them again and you'll hear them over every bump you go over. So, so car is now wingless. Uh, some people prefer these look. Me, not really, but you know, teach their own. Anyways, um, here are the two wings, eBay and the OEM one. As you guys can see, um, well actually you may not be able to see this, but the actual shape of the wings are different, um, like very slightly. And what I mean by that is that this wing, the, uh, the real one, kind of swoops back a little bit more, kind of, it, it comes out from the back a little bit more than the eBay one and it looks better it looks like it belongs in the car this one's not bad but it just doesn't have like the same and I, I can't explain it but it doesn't have like the same like contour coming off the back as this one um, does it's like a it's it's just it's hard to explain once you put it on the car this one does look different kinda hangs over the back of the car a little bit more um, and that's about all I have to say about the shape. Now the actual weight of them, the original one's a lot lighter. Um, you know, by a lot, I mean like it's there's just wings, but um, you can definitely tell the difference between the original one and the eBay one. The original one's a lot lighter because they filled them with gas from the factory, and they're just, I mean, the thing's light, it sounds hollow, whereas this is kind of like just fiberglass um, it's cracked obviously it's you know typical eBay quality um, and also the installation with these like I said before you should always get a screwdriver one of those special screwdrivers uh, but the other thing with the eBay wing is that you're screwing right into fiberglass which is uh, stupid um, and it's very easily stripped and they do provide you with screws but you know it's it's you know very easy, easily to crack this or strip it and whatnot. Um, and as you can see, it's just flat on the bottom. So when you install it, you have to have someone else hold it. Or if you don't have anyone else to hold it, like when I installed it, install, installed it by myself, you have to tape it to your car. Obviously, you have to have your trunk open so you can't just like rest it there. Um, whereas the real wing, first of all, it's like a cloth on the bottom. This is like a soft touch cloth. Um, they have like inserts in them that you screw into that aren't as easily stripped. And you have a metal 
little rod here. So basically you can put the wing on by yourself. You can just drop it on and it just stays in place. The holes line up perfectly. This one you have to spend time lining the holes up. Um, it's kind of concave too. Whereas this is like kind of sits on the car flat. That one kind of, I don't know why, but it's like divoted in. So whereas this one just kind of flat with the cloth stuff. Um, so installing it is a lot better. Um, and I mean, it's just, it's, it's a nicer wing and it's just worth the money to kind of go with an original wing. I cheaped out with the eBay one initially and I was like, you know, it's a wing, you know, might as well, you know, get the cheaper one. Um, why not? I was just kind of in a rush to complete the exterior and I just picked up the wing thinking it wouldn't be a big deal. But I mean, right from the get-go, it was, it, it kind of sucked to install it and it just felt cheap and looked cheap and it was cracked and just kind of looked shitty. Um, and the real wing went on wicked easily um, and just freaking, it, it was a breeze. I mean, you just kind of, little metal prong goes into here and then everything's lined up and you just screw it right in. So, yeah, it's pretty much all I have to say about that. Um, so, if you're... If you're torn between an eBay wing and an original wing, definitely go with the original wing. Um, the main point of this video is that even the simplest things off of like some of the cheaper eBay stuff, not all eBay stuff is bad, but most of it is uh, from my experience. Even the most simple stuff like a wing, which is literally like what, a piece of fiberglass, you can still get cheap stuff and it can still come back to bite you. Um, I mean, I don't... I. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing fell off on the highway. I mean, you're screwing into like fiberglass plastic. It cracks when you screw into it. You can hear it crackle and it just doesn't, it just, you know, isn't nice. Whereas the OEM wing is just, you know, it, it just feels a lot more solid. So, yeah, I uh, definitely recommend um, going with the original wing. And yeah, if you guys want to subscribe uh, for more content, going to be coming out with a lot more videos like this, a lot more kind of. Uh, super videos that I'm kind of swaying away from a lot of the vlogs I've been doing. I'm still going to be doing those, but I'm also going to be doing some more informational videos about the super in general, or even just cars in general. I mean, this really pertains to, like I said, Evos, WRXs, or you know, other cars that have spoilers on them from the factory that are uh, frequently replicated. So yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe, um, like I said, going to be coming out with more videos. Definitely comment. Give me some suggestions for more content you want to see. Um, and don't be afraid to hit that thumbs up. And yeah, thanks for watching.